Hello everyone, on this Silver Reviews, we'll be reviewing one of the most interesting underrated animated series, Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd Century. This is obviously a Sherlock Holmes cartoon, and I recently got into watch after seeing it on an underrated list, Cartoons by Marvelous Videos. I'll add the link to their video to, so you can see it. If you are seeing this on Wattpad, which I also add in my reviews on, I'll add the YouTube video down below. Anyways, let's get into with the review. Now, what is Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century? Well, let me recap it for you. It's a British-American animated TV television series that aired in 1999 to 2001, with 26 episodes. However, it was only a I was only able to like um watch 13 of them on Tubi. So yeah, Tubi has it. Although it's not really in order, only episodes one to three are in order, but that doesn't really matter. Anyways, the plot goes like this. The story is set in the 22nd century in New London, not the New London in Massachusetts. If anyone didn't know, yes, there is a town called New London. I have been there before, but off topic. In the first episode, Inspector Beth Lestrade of New Scotland Yard, one of the main characters, is chasing down a deformed French rogue, Giannis, named Martin Fenwick. When G. Severs, he's working with 19th century criminal master Professor Moriarty. When she first finds that it's not the real Moriarty but a clone and finds only one way to stop him is bringing Sherlock Holmes back to life. Thanks to the 22nd century scientist and biologist Sir Evan Hargreaves, with his invention of cellular rejuvenation, are able to bring back home Sherlock and from the dead. Sherlock's body was housed in the basement of New Scotland Yard in a preserved glass wall on a filled coffin. For Holmes actually died of old age instead of what was told of him dying with the original Moriarty. And that's where it begins. Also, Watson's a robot. My impressions on watching the 13 episodes I could watch on TV were okay. Can watch them on YouTube too by uploads people have made. The show got a far share of comic relief mixed in with a little dark, futuristic setting of Sherlock Holmes novels. I liked the animation and the intro was fun too, and very catchy with its theme song. The 3D animation was not really that good, but it was the 1990s and early 2000s, so we were still experimenting on 3D back then in those days. Each episode was based on a Sherlock Holmes story, rewritten to match the futuristic timeline the story was set in. And some of the titles were changed or stayed the same as each episode. I really liked it, the show and the episode, so there was a lot I can say that I liked it a lot. Though it was co-produced by Deke Entertainment. Yes, that Deke for making the Sailor Moon Deke dub. I would say they did make some good dubs, but I guess that's just a different time to talk about. Probably never gonna do that because I don't really make videos on companies' histories. I definitely will recommend this show to be who likes characters from the past finding themselves in the future, like Sleepy Hollow. That show, awesome by the way. And to anyone who likes Sherlock Holmes, this underrated cartoon is definitely a 5 star in my book, but the rest is for you to decide. And that is where we're gonna close my review on Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. Be sure to tell me what you think about Sherlock Holmes cartoon. It's elementary.